Hello guys and welcome back to my let's play of Digimon World 2. When we last left off we had just uh, conquered Modem Domain and we also went to Device Gnome where we retrieved the generator and we got the titanium body <clears throat> and we also tune it in to find out that we had to now get our well participate in the Coliseum to get our rank up to rookie which is three tournaments so let's get this on the way <clears throat> um i should mention a couple of things before we actually start the tournament uh when you when you do tournaments uh you have to have your three Digimon you want to use throughout the whole three rounds set. So right now my lineup is a Red Vegemon uh, and the two Metal Greymons that I have. Uh, those are going to be the three I'll be using in these tournaments right now. <clears throat> um when you enter a tournament you come up here and talk to this lady and you can uh what was that uh enter the tournament for a certain fee uh when you first start out during the tournament uh the fee is 500 and then after every new rank it increases by 500 uh there's eight or nine tournaments that you compete in so uh, the last tournament is going to cost about 4,000 but you're not going to do all the tournaments straight up because as you progress through the tournaments they're going to get harder and harder and the final one you will definitely not want to do at the beginning of the game so, like I was saying, we're going to continue on, and our first challenger for our first cinema is Bertron, Burton, her arch rival, go figure. <laughs> He's going to make us look silly, oh my god, what he does not know yet. <laughs> yeah. So when you first start doing tournaments, they're all going to start out at rookie levels. So it's not going to be anything too difficult, and especially if you're doing the tournaments now like I am. You should probably breeze through the first three ranks like I'm probably about to do. Yeah. They're... They're, uh... HP, I think, is probably relevant to a wild Digimon that you would find in a random domain. So, as you can see, my Digimon are pretty much taking them out in one hit. <clears throat> so, like I said, it's nothing too serious. And especially if you start, if you start doing the tournaments at the beginning of the game. You can probably take the first round when you get up to uh, probably pass the second mission. After that, you could probably head down this mission. I mean, tournament if you really want to. But since I'm a procrastinator, yeah. <laughs> and apparently, our next challenger is going to be Joy Joy. How fun! Not too shabby. I I wipe the floor with you. Don't even act like you're tough. Oh, I think I, it will be. Because what you don't realize is the fact that I'm not going to have necessarily all the same Digimon. <clears throat> and especially for the fact that my red Vegemons are going to be the same. And my two metal gray ones probably won't be the same. Yeah. 
It's time to battle. Are you ready? Then let's get it on. Actually, what am I talking about? It probably will be the same if I have to fight him in the next room or, or two. Oh well. So, uh, let's get this on the way. Still probably won't even be that hard. Do, 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 do. Oh wow. <laughs> so George Race is actually in more of a challenge than Bertrand. Bertrand. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Because <laughs> George Race always seems to be the better teamer of the two. But that's only me talking. <clears throat> And actually comes to think that I think George Ray is actually more tactical about the whole thing. Except I think uh Bertrand's just pretty much all power. Doesn't even try and get Digimon with uh status affecting attacks. <laughs> like Bakamon's evil touch, where I can confuse them, or Red Vegemon where he can take HP. Well, actually, that's Vegemon, Woodmon's. Whoops. <laughs> or Quagmon's, the one the defense. <clears throat> and of course, I'm actually speaking about later on in the game. Whoops. So apparently, our next challenge is going to be a Gold Hawk member. I'm going to see now a sort of Pichu. Okay. Yeah, not gonna happen. Sorry. Hmm. Gonna be a gold hawk. <clears throat> well, the next one's the final. The one that gets promoted. I want to see you. Wait, was our name Esmeralda? Uh. Oh yeah, um, either way, everybody you meet in the tournament, I'm pretty sure you're going to meet at some point during the game, if it's uh, in the near future or uh, later on in the game. Just an interesting tidbit. <clears throat> oh yeah, and I guess I should also mention that... When you do the tournaments, after every round, your HP and MP don't increase, so don't expect a recovery after every round. So you gotta really be uh, careful when you enter these tournaments. <clears throat> and also, you can't run away or use items, so you're pretty much relying on all your Digimon skills. So, when you enter the tournaments, you best be prepared for anything that could happen. But fortunately for me, I've already played this game I don't know how many times, so I already know what's going to be happening. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think the next time I enter the, these tournaments are when I'm actually forced to. If you're actually forced to again. Before the point I'm thinking about. <laughs> I really think my Digimon scene's going to change. Because I'm probably going to have a Greymon, a Metal Greymon. Possibly even a War Greymon. Who knows? And then I'm going to probably have, maybe have a Oikawamon. Let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, Taper Mom, but you're the last one alive. Bad luck for you. Oh, yeah, and I guess I should all actually mention one other thing I've been getting is that you don't get any experience from doing the tournaments. So don't 
be expecting to get any experience or whatsoever from this. <coughs> And there is the last of it. What the hell is Gus barking at? Fighting over? I don't know. Oh yeah, it was Esmeralda. <laughs> but let's continue our fight for the cause. What is our cause? Yeah, no one else. Woo, my amateur team are now. It's so low rank. We have a long way to go. And also, when you win tournaments, you get uh, certain prizes for winning them. So that's it for this episode of Let's Play Desmond World 2. When we come back next time, we're going to compete in the next tournament level so we can increase our rank again, which might actually be the uh, rookie rank. I don't know. Either way, see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and have a good day, everyone.